movies. Movies. So, with Tom Cruise's move, new movie coming out, The Mummy, we are starting to get our first picture of what it will look like when Universal dives all the way in to their shared universe. So they're jumping into shared universes and they're going to call theirs the dark universe. Now we've talked about this call a it the, before. the universal universe. The that un- would just yeah, be know, confusing. That's weird. Like I literally had something like it sounded really choppy that beginning little thing. Cause I had something else written out and then I realized that it was the universal's universe of shared universes. And I'm like, <laughs> I can't say that. I, that's just not something I can say. <laughs> like, it doesn't sound right. Universal but, dark universe of universal's dark, dark universe, world. shared universe. Yeah. Yay. Something like that. Uh, yeah. So the the first movie of this shared universe, let's say, call it the Iron Man of this shared universe, is going to be The Mummy. Now, originally, I thought it was just going to be like a reboot of the old Mummy series. It doesn't seem like that's the way they're going with this one. Um, but this will be this the jumping off point for their shared universe, the dark universe. Now, other movies that have been pretty solidly rumored uh they, i think that a couple of them have leading actors uh, attached to them like russell crowe's attached to dr jekyll and mr hyde we have javier barden is attached to play frankenstein johnny depp is set to be the invisible man then we have other movies like van helsing wolfman creature from the black lagoon um all kind of rumored to be part of this shared universe that they're unveiling now what universal has said they're planning on doing with these movies is they're making them all standalone things but that tie, like not directly tie into each other, but are placed in the same world. So kind of like what Marvel did with their first set of movies. Each superhero movie was its own standalone movie. And then they tied it all together with a big event like Avengers. It's only recently that you've seen more of the bleed over of all their characters from one movie to the next. Like Captain America Civil War was really Avengers 3. I mean, that's what it was. We all know what it was. Uh, even, you know, I mean, they, they just are combining all these. And then with Black Panther, you hear... Captain America or Winter Soldier will be in that. And then with Thor Ragnarok, you have Hulk's going to be in that. Probably Doctor Strange as well. So they're doing a lot more bleeding over. And, and this is kind of the baby steps for Universal to... I bet you they're planning on doing that same thing, bleeding over all the characters into these stories. But right now, they're just setting the pieces up on the chessboard. So Yeah, yeah we now see getting, that this is a model that that works. So more people are trying to jump on that, that money bandwagon of people like this. And, and to be honest, it's not like it's that much of a leap for others to do it. We've had people for years that would yeah. say like, oh, what if this was a shared universe and would try to explain different movies being part of the exactly. same shared universe anyway as a fun thing? And now it turns out, yeah, yeah they are. <laughs> yeah, it, it is a fun thing. I mean, even if they don't directly tie in together, knowing that they're kind of some events from one you know, might have an effect on another event from other. Cause I imagine with like the Dr. Jekyll, and Mr. Hyde movie, they're not going to set it in present time. They'll probably set it a little bit in the past. Cause that's the traditional setting for Dr. Jekyll. Well, and most Mr. of Hyde. these are, are set further back. Like I think most of these movies too, which you might be getting into, seems like it's based off their, their more, their older, like classic movies that they, and that's for. exactly what they're doing. They're trying to go and revitalize a lot of these monster old monster movie the, the genre because that was universal i mean universal has been around for 105 years it's ridiculous how long that production company's been around and and yeah they have these characters also you hear when you hear van helsing i mean that's obviously you know you're gonna have dracula with that because that is his main protagonist which is interesting because i don't know if you remember we did talk about this years ago when the, the it, back in 2014 when the movie dracula untold came out like that was supposed to be the kickoff for this monster universe and there was like even scenes they went in and wrote that would kind of tie into different things here and there and then universal was like you know what that movie kind of sucked and we don't want it part of our universe and kind of kicked it out so okay. well you I can actually kind of like that idea one. that they're like hey that movie was not the quality we want in this shared yeah. universe so bye-bye yeah. you know you, you and, can and do that, that with the first standards. one as long as you didn't go like all in like I don't think Iron yeah. Man could have done that as much. They still had they already you know mentioned the Avengers at the very end. That that would have been a well yeah yeah they had um, Samuel L. Jackson come in and say I'm putting a team together. I mean he still could have you know theoretically said all right Tony Stark you're not part of the team and you're gone. Uh, but he would have still been part of the universe. You're 100 percent right. Yeah. But so. but I, I don't remember. I don't know if Dracula had that strong of tie-ins or whether it was just like set up so they could it you know, get rid of, it seemed like they could get rid of that one easier. 
Yeah. Well, and, and yeah, it was set way in the past. It didn't really tie into anything. And and again, they had shot some extra scenes that they left out of the movie that would have tied it into this universe. So leaving those out, really no harm, no foul. It wasn't a great movie. So pff, see ya. You know, we don't need it. Mm. But, you know, I do find this interesting because they're also kind of changing the genre of a lot of these movies. Now, a lot of these, like the Dracula movie, like the most famous universal Dracula movie, I want to say came out in like 1929 or something like that. The guy with the long fingers and it was a silent movie, if I'm correct. And, you know, there's some interesting things. And those were more of the horror genre. Now, they are saying they're going more of an action adventure route with these movies. And I think that's the right way to do it. Personally, because the mummy that's coming out when I first saw the trailers for it, I was like, okay, so we're rebooting the mummy series again. Like, all right, we've been there, done that. They're just doing a gender role reversal. Then I start to look more at it and it's, it's, it's actually going to be its own new story. It's going to be pretty much the same thing as the Brendan Fraser mummy movies, except for one big difference. And that is Tom Cruise. And now say what you will that, about Tom Cruise. That's a big difference, actually. <laughs> Throw a good Huge Tom difference. Cruise. Yeah. Say what you will about Tom Cruise. He makes good movies. I do not. I, I, I'm he trying to remember. He's a very good actor. Movie. Whatever else you say about him, he's a good actor. Well, his action adventure movies are all really, really good. Like even the stupid, cheesy, corny ones that you think would be back bad, like the Jack Reacher movies. I I was entertained. I was entertained. There was a movie he did with Cameron Diaz, Night and Day. Didn't look like it should be any good. I I had fun with it. You know, I mean, like these movies aren't the best movies in the world, but they are fun. And if you want to take two hours out of your life to just in just turn your brain off and enjoy a, a, a thriller on the screen he's the right person to kick it off. And if he's going to be the linchpin of this series now, I don't know how well it'll go in the future. I think Tom Cruise is around 50. If he's not 50 already, he is kind of an ageless wonder. So he will be able to go for a while, but if they're trying to do like a Marvel and stretch us out 17, 20 years, they probably picked actors that are a little too old because Russell Crowe is up there too. Uh, so is Johnny Depp. Javier Bardem, I don't think he's that well, old. That's he okay, though. These Prince are monster movies. The they could age. Can they can put on makeup. They could. You can also switch them sure. out. Like the mummy, he can be reincarnated as someone else, right? Well, so. Tom Cruise is not the mummy. It's yeah, he's the mummy. I, that's what I'm believing. He's the mummy and the mummy's... <laughs> okay. uh, and the guy uh, running away from the mummy. Okay, fair yes. enough. He's, he's, he's a both, different mummy. He's a particular he's, mummy hunting another mummy that's... <laughs> he's both the hero and the villain all at the same time. He just doesn't. He's it's probably like most the characters in that. All the Spoiler male roles alert, need to be like told. Fu- it's like a fight club where he thinks he's everybody, but he's really not. It's just his personality. Spoiler. Spoiler. Okay. I really hope that's not put in the movie because then people would be upset with me for really spoiling things. But, <laughs> but uh, I am interested to see what's going to happen with the shared movie universe. I do think it's a cool take on the monsters, and it's really going to be bringing classic tales back to life. And these are tales that yes, we've seen them. We saw like I Frankenstein a couple of years ago, which was uh, that was a horrible movie of the week review. And I yeah. want to say that got like a one, one and a half. It was garbage. These are we have seen iterations of these. So, yeah. And but they're classic stories for a reason, because they are good stories. And hey. so if we can get competent direction, writing and, you know, don't go too crazy with the CGI, but throw some in there. You know, we don't need to go nuts on these movies, but give us something solid and I'll be happy. And, you know, so here's hoping the mummy actually does good, because if that doesn't do good, we're probably going to see a lot of these movies get start to get yeah. 86. And I don't think we have to worry about um, the movies being ones that we we've seen the stories before. That's mm-hmm. essentially what all these shared universes have done. That yeah. just, we knew those comic book characters <laughs> before they came out for the most part. Exactly. Uh, I did introduce more people to them. Um, and most of these characters haven't been used extensively in a while. Like the mm-hmm. mummy has had a big Thing in the last few years you said Frankenstein had some small things in the last few years yeah but, and like Helsing had the, the yeah. Hugh Jackman movie but when was the last time good. you saw Wolfman uh, actually um, Antonio Banderas and Anthony Hopkins had a pretty cool Wolfman movie uh, about a decade ago okay but still but th- it hasn't been played out that much yeah. in, a, in a while uh, Creature and, from the Black Lagoon hasn't showed up in forever. Invisible yeah. Man hasn't showed up in forever so I think the last time Invisible Man showed up was uh, what uh the League of Extraordinary Gentlemen, and who even remembers the that movie? <laughs> Extraordinary Gentlemen. Yeah, um, yeah. So, but yeah. So, so it's not trying so to big. eventually, maybe that'll be the culmination. They'll they'll have the Dark Universe they'll show all these characters, and they'll come together and make the League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. That would make sense. Although I, I imagine they're trying to steer really away from that because that movie that. did. I really hope they don't do that. The League of Extraordinary. But, but the idea of gentlemen. that of the League of Extraordinary Gentlemen was a good idea. Uh, and it and, just was horribly executed. Yeah, it was just badly executed. 
Uh, and that's yeah. that's how it is. But you didn't know that going in. I mean, Sean Connery thought it was going to be a big deal, which is why he passed up a, a role in X Men. <laughs> oh. He was supposed. Oh. To, I, I hear that's he was supposed to be an X Men, and but he was like, "Nah, I'm going to do the League of Extraordinary Gentlemen." That's. It's gonna be- I'm sorry, Sean. I'm sorry. Well, at least you have James Bond to fall back on. But yeah, we're both hoping that this shared universe turns out to be excellent. But let us know what you think. Are you excited for this start of a shared universe or do we already have enough? Hit us up. Let us know. Comments down below. Of course, at Words From My Face on Twitter. Google Plus and Facebook. Oh, is a good way is getting a hold of us. But let's keep on rolling.